Paul Vingerman. Paul was arrested for destruction of public property at a local library. Paul claims that he was merely using his energy ray to capture a ghost that was residing there. Because of course he was. Let me get this straight. Your client set fire to a library when he was trying to catch a ghost. Actually, it was the ghost that started the fire. Oh, so perhaps we should have arrested the ghost then. That was what my client was trying to do before you arrested him. Don't you think you're pushing it a bit far with this one? Just a little? Well, if you're going to have me wait a million years for a date, I thought it might make it as entertaining as possible. Mm, so this is all just good entertainment for you. Actually, it's great entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, there's a cute little rumor floating around that I'm Canadian. You wouldn't have anything to do with that, would you? Yeah, I heard that terrible rumor. But no, I wouldn't know where they got that from. Right, I thought so. Yikes. Look at those damage values. We gotta take care of this. Let's go ahead and uh, deep voice. Combine that with a discredit to knock out that witness. Wow, I'm just so good. You are just so good. Let's not be dumb here. I know it's pretty tempting, Grimmith. You're like, I wanna be dumb. Again. Oh no, you can't deal damage to me! Terrible. Just go ahead and reduce your credibility by 50% before Susan can act and then utterly annihilate you. I got the skills to Goodbye. pay the bills. Ghost catcher catches a break. Prosecutor says, this is just ridiculous. Because of course it is. And my apartment here is fully upgraded, I do believe. Yes, it sure is. Which means the only thing I have left to spend my shekels on is that ring of success, and I do want it. Believe me, I do. Billy Rodriguez. Billy is in trouble again, and this time he is charged with franchise fraud. Billy claims that his company is not a pyramid scheme, but rather a triangular investment enterprise. It seems like your client schemes just get more and more elaborate each time. If by schemes you mean legitimate yet lucrative business models, then yes, he is a very ambitious entrepreneur. Oh yeah, he's so ambitious that he's here practically every other week. Well, some people need to prove their innocence more often than others, I guess. And some people need to be taught a lesson. And other people would like to know who thinks they can teach some people a lesson. Well, perhaps you can tell the other people that a certain someone feels that he's up for the job. Oh, really? Well, you can tell that certain someone that if he thinks that he can teach some people a lesson, then he's underestimating the other people. Well, if a certain underestimate... If the people... Sir... Let's just get on with the case, okay? Sounds good. Poor Jack. Well, we have incredibly dangerous witnesses again. Jack, he's not so bad this time. That's a deep voice. Combine that with an interrogate. Take care of this witness. Now that's what skill looks like. Let's see here. Gonna intimidate you. Shave off that credibility by half, and then I'm gonna object to you as well. Jack will get an attack, but that's only two points of damage. Now, you have seven credibility left. Which means I'm gonna boost. Yeah, let's get the guarantee. Thanks for playing. And then I'll actually use Hypnotize on you. Wow! Got all of the damage nullified. You're not very good at this, right? <laughs> this is the last round for the bonus. But I didn't even need to use that ability. I just wanted to discredit Jack. Goodbye, Jack. You're terrible, Max. Probably. Fraudulent franchiser finds freedom. Clients is a great day for creative entrepreneurs everywhere. And alliteration. I don't have enough money for that right now. Yeah, it could cost me. 
But... All right, Bert Green. Bert is charged with insurance fraud after trying to sell the very same car that he had reported stolen. Bert claims innocence, but admits that the deal was so good it was practically a steal. All right, Roger. Hello, Max. <laughs> what is that on your head? Oh, this? Well, it's my new winning haircut. No, that's my winning haircut. Well, I guess now we both have winning haircuts. No, I have a winning haircut, and you have a wig that wishes it was a winning haircut. I disagree. You really think I win just because of my hair? Well, it worked for Samson in the Bible, didn't it? Yes, and then someone poked his eyes out and a temple collapsed over him. Well, I'll just focus on the winning part, if you don't mind. I hope you realize that the only difference now is that you'll look even more ridiculous when you lose. <laughs> we'll see, Max. We'll see. Fucking Roger. Ah. That evidence down there, that's not that much of a concern. I want to get rid of these witnesses. Witness my perfection. That way it nullifies oh, Roger that. and the coach. Deep voice again, and we'll combine that with another interrogate to take care of that witness. I'm leaving, leaving us with just idea. the evidence, which is not enough to do oh, Yeah. I'll get you for that. Last round for bonus, the Odell! What am I gonna- Oh, did I win? Who's the best? I'm the best. Son of a bitch. No jail for car sale. Attorney says it was no big deal. Let's go ahead and buy the final item of this area. And I will make that a ring of success. Sometimes my sense of style amazes me. Extra actions, man. Reducing uh, action point costs. It's a big deal. I learned that in games a long time ago. Cody Mastrelli. Cody is charged with stealing a fighter jet to rescue his father who was held captive by an evil dictator. Cody says that under the circumstances, he could only see one vision and one solution. Hey, Margaret. Again. Your client has stolen a fighter jet to attack a foreign nation. I hope he's ready to do some serious time. You mean that you hope he's ready to have a fair trial, right? It's never a fair trial when you're involved, Max. Well, at least it's an entertaining trial. You know, Max, if you keep this up, I think you'll be defending yourself in court pretty soon. Don't be so dramatic. Who would want to see me in jail? Who wouldn't want to see you in jail? I think you're forgetting that I'm the protagonist here, the hero character. I mean, really, just look at my jawline. <laughs> Now that's a hero's jawline. Yes, and I'm sure the other inmates will love you for it. Whoa, hey now. Just think of it as some friendly advice, that's all. Well, the next time I want your friendly advice, I'll let you know. Fine. Fine. Oh, dear. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, witness, coach, evidence, expert, deep voice. And we'll combine that with an interrogate to take care of that witness. High five now, Margaret seven. is up there, and uh, one does have to watch out for her. However, I got a plan. A cunning plan. Probably not that cunning, I actually, come to think of it. Sounds pretty stupid to me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Technique be more effective. Let's see here. Two to four damage. That's a deep voice. That's a one plus three, so that would cost four. Because a deep voiced analysis would just be too stupid. The ego boosted. That would cost three. Okay. Ego boost. And combine that with... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and destroy the uh, evidence there. Excellent. Which leaves us with two points, which uh, leaves us with an Intimidate right on Margaret's face. Only dealing four damage. I don't accept that kind of treatment. I don't accept that kind of treatment. You're damn right. Goodbye, Margaret. <sighs> Yeah, launcher started. Good. Young pilot ejects to safety. Attorney says mission accomplished. 
All right. Gary Iguana. Gary is charged with insider trading. Gary has chosen not to comment on the allegations, but has stated that there's a big bonus in store for anyone who can clear his name. The prosecutor here is Wayne Walker. He is the boss, as it were, of Act Two. I understand you're good at what you do. I can't say I respect you, but I'm certainly not going to underestimate you. Perhaps you'll just give up then. No, on the contrary. I'm about to present you with your biggest challenge yet. Is it to listen to quotes by Sun Tzu? Because I don't think I can take any more of that. Show some respect. Sun Tzu was a great leader and a brilliant strategist. Yeah, and he was also incredibly boring. Sun Tzu changed the way we think about strategy and tactics forever, and that's a lot more than you'll ever amount to. Yeah, I'd say I'm more about being charming, talented, and incredibly handsome. <laughs> and so far, that's worked out incredibly well. Well, I think you'll need a lot more than charm to win today. I prepared for this case very carefully. Okay, then I'll be sure to be very careful as I take it apart. So, you really think you stand a chance? Look, if I win, my client will give me a new apartment, a new office, and a brand new sports car. Let's just say that there's simply no way I'm going to lose this one. Wayne Walker deals damage based on damage minus credibility. So, as a result, he deals 18 points of base damage subtract his credibility for that, you get two points of damage. Ergo, the more damage you deal to Wayne, the more damage you'll deal to you. Unless you take him out completely. As a result, I'm gonna leave Wayne alone for the time being and focus on the other uh, threats on the board. It's a deep voice, and combine that with an interrogate to take out this witness. That's all right, you're excused. That's right. And another deep voice, combined with another interrogate, removes that witness as well. Which yeah, means I'm looking stinks, at taking four to five points of damage from the board here. Which, uh, will not be that bad. As a matter of fact, I'm even going to, uh, do an analysis here to make it easier for me to remove that evidence later. Good. Take it easy. So, let's go ahead and see, uh, if I can... Get away with uh, saving an action point here. Good, 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 good. good, good, good. more where that came from. Let's reduce your credibility by 50%, which means he now deals 10 points of damage. Which means we're going to object his ass so that he can't crush my soul. And we're going to take a boost. Now, with that out of the way, let's complete the job. That's impossible. Attorney says, new apartment and office? Don't mind if I do. Part 3, Justice for All. The achievements, by the way, uh, do award you a few shekels. Uh, I'll go ahead and just sit through all these things now. These uh, involve collecting the bonuses on a certain amount of cases. In 57, and there's a case right after that. Uh, this involves dealing more than 10 points of damage in one turn, 15 points of damage, eliminate all opponents in the first turn, unlock all vanity abilities, obviously I don't have those two. Uh, that's completing the game with difficulty set to normal, and obviously I'm working on hard right now. I don't have that one yet. Shield of Justice, go to the first round without taking any damage, eliminate three opponents with one attack, and Game Wizard, beat the high score on the Mega Laser Arcade Machine, which, uh... We take a look at Le Riche Apartments. It is something we can buy right there. Now, obviously, I'm gonna buy that and show it to you. I suppose that's not that obvious, but I think the reasoning behind me buying it in my first playthrough is obvious, because I saw that and was like, hey, I can get some money from doing the achievement. That sounds cool. We have uh, lots more upgrades to purchase, and yes, they are expensive. We also, in here, have a bedroom, but we can buy even more incredibly expensive shit. Now, the goal here is to avoid increasing materialism. I have a lot of upgrades and vanity to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven upgrades and vanity total. I'm also looking for two upgrades and decadence. So in situations where there's a choice just between materialism and decadence, I'll pick decadence. How many of those situations are there? 
materialism and decadence choices at all anywhere. No. There's no uh, materialism and decadence choices straight up. So, one vanity, two vanity, three vanity, four vanity, five vanity, six vanity. A little short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine, but wait, there's more. And obviously, I want to buy the Mega Laser Arcade Machine, which is decadence. So I'll only need one point of decadence. Now, if we come out of here and head into the private garage, we have a car here that we can upgrade. We can get a vanity level by one, which I do need. And I can also get a decadence level one, which I also need. I could buy other things, but just can't make it happen with what I want to do, because I would want to get great posture and reverse psychology. So we're going to be leaving some of the which means just this section... Uh, hmm. It makes discredit even more powerful, which means I can make that deal four damage. That uh, allows my analysis skill to deal two damage to evidence in the first try through, which I don't like that one so much. And then to hell with materialism. Okay, so now you folks know the plan moving forward, and we have McMahon Law there, which you'll end up seeing in the next video. Until then.